Hey guys and welcome back to my channel Jackie's Crafty Time. Uh, today I'm going to be making or trying to show you how to make uh, one of these pens here. Sorry I'm just trying to figure out how I set up the camera. Um, so what you need to start is the rainbow loom, just the basic rainbow loom. Um, and what you do is you take the middle one out and they just pop out like that. Oh, doesn't want to pop. You just have to make sure that this one is facing that way and all the other ones are facing this way I don't know if you can see it in the camera there yeah you can see it so it'll it'll be set up like this and this is the side that you're going to use to make your pen um, so I have found with making them that the best number for me is 20 that way they're not too loose uh, so you pick your colors whichever ones you want and you make five groups of each till you get 20 there okay so I'm gonna sit down and let's get started and we can chit chat a little bit I'll see if I can bring up my questions um, if there's anything that you guys have questions about while I'm doing it just go ahead and leave a comment down below and I will answer those um, when I see them um, also the pen that I'm going to be using is one of the Diamond Art Club pens, and I have the four placer on the end, but you don't need that till the end. Okay, so I just wanted to stand up, make sure that I'm in camera. So to start, I'm gonna start with the purple. Whenever you start, <coughs> excuse me, you always start at this end, but the first one you pull and twist and then put on. And the first all the way around, you're gonna be going pull twist and put on so your first one will be twisted and that's going to kind of help it to hold the pen tip i hope i am staying in camera and you guys are seeing everything twist Ooh, that one almost came off there we go once i get a few rows going it'll be a little easier and i can sit down and chit chat with you guys how I hope everyone's doing well um, okay so this is what it's gonna look like you're gonna have this kind of kind of looks like a house or a star so that'll be your starting point and then you're gonna go with your next color so that you can just go straight on no twisting and you're just gonna keep going um, you might see these bands changing color they're actually my chameleon uh, heat changing color bands and then you're gonna put this down this one so I'm filming this on Saturday January 23rd right at my daughter's nap time so hopefully she stays asleep if not I will have to okay finish the video afterwards okay so now we have the two layers let me see if I can get there we go so what you're gonna do see if it'll focus on that there we go so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go under grab these two colors and then pull it over see how I did that there and we're gonna do the next one like that you're gonna grab the two purple on the bottom and pull it over Oh, stuck on there and then just push down these two and the reason why you want this one facing that way is because you have to it's hard to get in this way and it's easier to just pull them over like that okay pull these two and these two here okay so that is our first row done and that's what's going to look like and it'll start getting smaller and smaller as you put the colors on. All right, so just move this over a bit. Sorry about that, there we go. Okay. All right, let's sit down and start doing the next row. 
So I believe I ended on question. Let me see if I'm in the camera. Yeah, I am. Okay. Question 29. Who was your craziest or most interesting teacher? Um, I'd say my most crazy and interesting both was in college and it was Chef Mark. Um, he just had like a huge passion for food, but he was just like, he made you want to do better. Like I, you would want to cook him something that he was like, wow, it's just, he was, he was crazy about it. He was crazy about teaching. Yeah, I really enjoyed his class. I mean, it was a hard class. It was hard to pass, which I guess is a good thing. Okay. So now we have, I'm going to do the first two rows so you can kind of see the colors come up and then I'll bring it back up to the camera there. Oh, I didn't push that one down. So you're pushing these ones down because you're putting the next color on top of it. So you want to be able to get to that easily. And this one, okay, number 30. What old person things do you do? Um, old person things. I don't, I mean, I guess I craft. I don't know, is that old? No. I don't know, I go to sleep. But like I can fall asleep really fast. I like wearing a blanket on my legs. <laughs> My husband says that's an old lady thing, having like a shawl on my shoulders or something. Um, what was the number 31? What was the last photo you took? Uh, last photo I took was of my daughter. It was last night when she fell asleep. Okay. 32. What is the most amazing slow motion video you've ever seen? I don't think I've really seen too many slow motion videos. I made one with my son when we were on vacation, the one year uh, when he was jumping in the waves and that turned out pretty cool. Um, number 33, what celebrity do you think is the most down to earth? Uh, Jason Momoa maybe? Not sure. Number 35, what's the most spiciest thing you have ever eaten? Wait a minute, okay, nope, sorry, I forgot I was doing green mixed in with the black. So I didn't have enough black, so I did um, like a mix of the, the black and green there. I, I don't eat a lot of spicy food. I have like accidentally eaten spicy food. Um, I'll tell you a little story about spicy. So my mom uh, was working one night and my brother was supposed to be watching us. I was little. I think it was like, I don't know, maybe seven, six or seven-ish. And I was, you know, he's my older brother. So I was bugging him. I was like, Mike, I, I want to drink. I want to drink. Well, he kept ignoring me, kept playing Nintendo. And I kept telling him, look, I'm really thirsty. I want to drink a juice. He said, well, just go in the fridge, get a drink of juice. Well, I went in the fridge and grabbed whatever bottle to drink, and turns out I had drank an entire bottle of Tabasco sauce, and oh, did it burn. It burned, and I was crying. My brother was, he couldn't believe it. He's like, are you serious? Like, why would you grab that of all things? And so, yeah, we had to, actually, it's kind of looking like Halloween colors. Can't really see the pink too well yet. Um, so we, I ended up drinking like a whole thing of milk. We called my mom at the hospital. She works at the hospital. Uh, we called her. There's, there's not really much, you know, other than drinking the milk, waiting the burnout. It didn't do anything other than taught me that I won't ever drink or use Tabasco sauce again. <clears throat> Number 36. What's the most expensive thing? Sorry if I'm going out of camera here. I'm trying to see where I'm at. Um, what's the most expensive thing you've ever broke? Um, I guess my wedding ring. 
but it's covered and should be fixed as soon as all of this crazy COVID stuff is clear and they're all open back up again. Um, my area is under complete lockdown, so there's nothing open except like grocery stores and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I it just it busted the one part off and I was like in shock and then emotional and you know because it's my wedding ring and I love that ring and it's not anything too fancy it's just small and it's what I like number 37 what makes your eyes roll every time you hear it oh god uh can my 12 year old sass be the answer oh my god he has so much attitude and I know it's just you know he's going into being a teenager and that's just how it's gonna be now but oh my god the attitude but the thing is is he does it too like he'll roll his eyes back at me and it's just because I know that we're the same person he is the exact same as me we have the same attitude everything so we have the first two rows done here I was going to go across and do color blocks, but I do, I like mixing the colors. And you'll see in a second, once I get this on, I'll bring it up close and kind of show you on the bottom there. And then I might pause the video and I'll get to the last one and I'll come back and show you how to finish it off. But I actually love these pens for a change from my Diamond Art Club one, just because of how squishy they are okay so here's here's what it looks like as you're going down and see how it's getting smaller so there's the end so I'm just trying to get some light up here my light in this corner is not very good okay so that's the end and when you push the pen in it'll stretch down and hold the pen all right so I'm going to continue on answer a few more questions hopefully get this done quickly and then I can work on my uh, diamond painting back here the Randall Spangler one I actually just ordered two more Randall Spanglers today so I waited and waited because I couldn't make a decision if I was gonna order from Diamond Art Club I wanted to see if they were gonna have another uh, Randall Spangler released for they always release on Saturdays so I waited yesterday and I had the universe in a jar one in my cart and it sold out. So that's the lesson. Don't wait, I guess. So now I'm only missing two. So I'm hoping those two come back in stock together and I will grab them up quickly and then I'll be all caught up on his works, which is good. So instead of getting that one, I ended up getting a Mandy Manzano one, which I do enjoy her style as well. Okay, so what number was I on? The most expensive? Nope, I already read that one. I have to move the page down just one moment. Oh no, what makes your eyes roll? Did that one. Okay, what do you think you are much better at than you actually are? I would say, what do I think I'm much better at? Um, doing my son's math? I don't, I pretend I'm really good at that. But he knows that I'm not that good because he's really smart with math and science are his top two favorite subjects. So I can't with either of those. I don't like them. I was never a good, I was never a good student myself. So like <laughs> this homeschooling thing is really killing. We're getting it done though. He's doing good. I... I, at the beginning, we had a few little rough patches where he wasn't so sure on what he was supposed to be doing, but we got it all figured out, and I've talked to his teacher since then, and he's back on track. I actually will be making a video with him. Another Zox package came in. Um, the one that was lost and I had given up hope on, because it was sitting since... I believe January 5th or something I hadn't moved at all so they said give it some more time and then email them back so I said well I'll give it to the end of January 
and then I'll email them about it if it still doesn't do anything. But yeah, it actually showed up. I was really surprised. And the tracking hadn't updated at all. So I don't usually, you know, I understand the postal service is a mess right now. Even Canada Post is super slow, which is fine. I don't rush anything. But okay, so 40. Should kidneys be able to be bought and sold? Um, no. I think that's weird. Like, you have a human organ market? I don't even know how you would do that. Like, you'd have to have all the different blood types and all. Like, I have the weird blood where my kids can't give me their organs. They can give them all to their father. I somehow had both positive kids. I'm not sure how that's fair. I had to carry them for nine months. One of them should at least be the same as me. Other than my son's attitude the same as me. <laughs> I'm actually really excited to use this pen. This is a, I may sound like a little child, but I do enjoy that it changes colors. Okay, what is... Uh, oh, 42. When was the last time you told... You got to tell someone I told you so. I don't know, probably this week. I probably told my husband that for something. I'm sure there was something he did or said that I was right in, right? Women and wives are always right. That's that's just how it goes. What riddles do you know? Uh, too many. My son loves riddles. <clears throat> when we were on vacation, not last year because the cottage was shut down, the year before, we usually go up to the thrift store in this small town there, and I let him buy a board game or something to do. He found this, it was called like Mind Trap or Mindscape or something, and it was just a box full of like the world's most impossible riddles ever. And then he proceeded to just try and get me to do riddles for like the whole night until I was like, dude, I, I can't. Like, dude, come on. Like... <laughs> Like, mummy is done. Mummy's brain cannot work any more riddles into it as it, like, it's, it's time. Oh, I'm starting to lose my things here. And then you put them on your finger like that. No. Um, okay, I've got to move this down a bit. <sighs> Number 44. What's your cure for hiccups? I don't have one. I just usually wait them out because I found that the, you know, hold your breath or take a big drink, none of that ever works for me and they just keep going. So I usually just wait it out and try not to think about them and hope they go away. Number 46. What's the most interesting building you've seen or been in? Um, most interesting building. I have seen, well, where we live, we have the Park House Museum building, which is kind of cool. It's like a little house that was built like way back in the 1812 wars and all that. Um, I live where the 1812 war was, Fort Malden and all that. Um, so we have that, but up when we went to, um, Jamaica, there was the Appleton Estate place and they had a pretty cool building that we got to go in and walk around and yeah, it was really neat to be there. I like, I like museums and all that, like walking around the old stuff and looking at it. I think it's interesting. Number 47, what mythical creature do you act do you wish actually existed? Sorry, I had to reread that because I tried to read it quick. I would love to have a unicorn or a pegasus or like just a mix of both. That'd be amazing. I think my daughter would also really appreciate a unicorn because she loves unicorns. I am missing one band of green. So sometimes that happens. I miscount, but that's why you keep your bands right beside you here. So you can grab one quick. Out of here. Okay, put that 
going on. Actually, it's kind of giving me like a like a Mardi Gras feel. I don't know if you guys can see the if I let it go. There we go. Mardi Gras kind of feel of colors. Okay, 48. What are your most important rules when going on a date? Uh, be respectful. Like, am I giving rules to, like, say, my son or to myself? If it's, like, for my son, like, be respectful, you know, be a gentleman. I always believe in, like, you know, opening the door for a lady and all that old chivalry stuff. But I guess, like, the number one rule for me over all of that chivalry and whatever is be respectful of whoever you're on a date with. Um, number 49, how do you judge a person? I judge a person on how they treat others. If you see somebody down on your luck and how you treat them and, you know, that can show a lot of who someone is. Oh. 51. What is the most unsettling film you've seen? Uh, I would say, I don't know if it's unsettling more than just like I was an emotional mess and like cried through the whole thing. Uh, the movie My Sister's Keeper, if you've never seen it, it's it's so just sad. Like, I don't know if I was just very emotional during that movie or what, but it was super, super sad. Oh, almost went on the wrong post there. And that doesn't matter if you start on a different one when you're doing this part. It's usually for the ending and the starting that you're going to end on the same ones. So if you do end up going on a different one, don't. It's not a huge deal. So I have done that. I might have done it during this video and not realized it. Okay. Uh, what? Where was I? Oh my goodness. Would it have been the biggest? Okay. What are you... Okay, 55. Sorry, I had to skip over some that just didn't make any sense. 55. What are you most... What are you interested in the most... In that most people aren't? Um, I would say... Like, I, use, I would have said diamond painting, but, like, I'm seeing more and more people are doing it now oh see if you drop one like that that's fine just pull it back down see how this purple one came up grab it with your hook and put it back on and put that one back on and then push it down um i like i said i would say diamond painting before but more and more people like even in my family on my facebook are posting oh just got my first diamond kit uh, i can't wait to try and like when i started going to be almost three years now I like nobody was doing it so I would say that but that's not it um I think everybody pretty much well maybe adult coloring I don't have a lot of adult colorists in my life that really do that so but that's fine everybody can do whatever they want I enjoy it because it's one of the crafts that I can do kind of out in the living room where I, I know my daughter won't be able to get a hold of it and destroy it. So, Okay, guys, we have two more rows to go. Let me just check the time. I don't want to make this a super long video. So I'm actually going to pause it, do these two rows, and I'm going to come back and show you how to finish it. If I can find the pause there. Okay, so we're on the final row here. So you're going to do the exact same thing that you did at the beginning. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this band, you're going to go onto this one, and you're going to twist. So twist it so it looks like that there. And then you're going to put that on. And I started making these just as an inexpensive way because when I started, I couldn't afford any of the fancier pens. I mean, I only have one right now anyway. It's just the Diamond Art Club one. I hope one day to get maybe one more. 
I'd like maybe like a pink and purpley one. Okay, so we're gonna twist. Sorry, it's really awkward doing it in the camera because I'm trying to watch the camera to see that it's still in view. Okay, and the last one. So now we're gonna put our pen in. Oh, nope, sorry, we're gonna take these and put these over top first. Then we're gonna put the pen in and I'll show you how to attach the pen to it. And then I'm gonna let you guys go. So I think I've chatted long enough. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your pen, the ones that come in the Diamond Art Kit, and I'm gonna lay this sideways so you can see here. You're just gonna stick it in and just push it all the way through till there. Okay, so you're gonna, and it'll go like that. There you go. Now what you're gonna do is these pieces here, you're gonna bring it over top of this. So you're gonna grab the two here. Oh, that's only one. Grab the two, bring it over and go all the way around. And it'll, once you get it off, you can kind of uh, move it back down, even it out. Right now you just want to get all of these on so you can do the top. There we go. Put that on. And these last two. Oops, sorry. I didn't even realize I pulled that out of camera. And there we go. Okay, so that's what your top is going to look like. Like that there. Okay, so we're going to do the bottom. So to do the bottom, I'm just going to get it pushed down so it's like that. You're going to take these off one at a time and go over top of this placer. You can do it without the placer on it. I just, I have trouble doing it that way, so I always do it with it on. Okay, so, and I'm going to start at this corner and go all the way around in order again. So here we go. We're going to do this one. And you'll notice it'll start to like come looser because it's coming off of the loom. Okay, and then, oh, one didn't go. This is really hard. Okay, so I'm going to do it this way so you guys can see. Take that one off. And there we go. This one off. There we go. Two more. And then like I said, you can already see it's already starting to even itself out. And the last one. So I hope this video helped anybody who has thought about making one of these. They're actually super easy to make. Um, and that's the final product right there. And it's like super squishy and it's really really comfy to hold um, I love these pens I've made a couple for my mom who started in diamond painting um, so that's everything for today guys I'm gonna let you go here I hope you have a great day like I said any questions leave them down below and if you like what you see please consider subscribing and hitting the like button thanks bye